you thinking about? Just the future. No. Yeah. What about it? Tell me a story. Well, let's see. Once upon a time when I was your age, it was the 90s. Like the 1990s? Wow, you're old. <laughs> Thanks. When I was a kid, hardly anyone had a computer. At least not anyone I knew. Smartphones weren't even a thing. You mean you left the house without a phone? Every time. Were you afraid? Of what? I don't know, that you might get lost or something. Nah, if I got lost, I just asked for directions. I mean, we had maps. Worst comes to worst, you could always tell what direction it was based on where the sun was in the sky in relation to the time. But weren't you scared something bad might happen? Nah, not really. People just didn't think like that back then. I mean, if something did happen, people would just stop and help each other, but 99.9% .9 of the time, nothing happened. Ooh, you know what else? When I was your age, I'd go outside and ride my bike all over the neighborhood for hours. Sometimes miles away from my house. Just exploring. By yourself? Yep. Whoa. And... Oh, and when we went to the grocery store, we just walked right in. I mean, no one stopped us at the door. There weren't any instructions about standing in lines. We didn't have to get scanned or searched or wear anything special. We just decided to go and then walk right in like birds fly through trees without a hindrance except the wind. Whoa, like a superhero. Sorry to interrupt you, hon, but that's not the future. Oh? I mean, that's all in your head. The future, by definition, is something that hasn't happened yet. Okay, but... Walking unhindered through a door isn't a superpower. Your imagination, however... Wait, you're not gonna go all Disneyland on me now, are you? <sighs> no. But I'm serious. You create, which is to conceive, images in your mind out of nothing more than images that go in there combined with reason and intent. Intent being defined as a bending of the mind towards an image. And what's an image? An image is just a representation, a symbol to your mind. Until you give authority to one of your creations by believing in it. Believing, of course, being yet another power in the form of energy. That's all it is. An imaginary future. So why not imagine something else? Hey, did you know in our old dictionary the word life was also defined as energy? Thank mm -hmm. you. 